Bath City Metro Park will be full of people walking with a purpose this weekend. Every year, the Walk to Defeat ALS raises funding for research, care services, and more for people and families affected by ALS. And you can help. Jenny, Roseanne, and Lisa are with us this afternoon so we can learn a bit more. Thanks for being here today, ladies. Wonderful to see you. You know, I'm going to start with you, Jenny, because um, you've worked hard for a decade now to raise money for ALS and families and services, and it's all because of your mom, right? Correct. Yeah, tell me a little bit about your mom. Um, my mom was diagnosed in January of 2015 with ALS and passed away in August of 2015. So just a few months? Yes, really? just a few months. The mm -hmm. first year I did a fundraiser at my house, mm -hmm. and I decided after that, after she passed away, to continue. I do a golf outing every year, wow. and as of this year, I've raised over $300,000 in honor of her. Wow, that's amazing. So why, why does it mean so much to you to be able to raise this money for others? Because my mom was my best friend, <laughs> and it, I've watched several people with ALS, and I just want them to have the care that they need. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wonderful, 300,000, that's amazing. So uh, Roseanne, tell me a little bit about your journey with ALS. I know you're using your phone to help you speak today, right? Thank you for having us here today. I was diagnosed with vulvar ALS in October, 2022, after experiencing symptoms for eight months. ALS diagnosis is a process of disease exclusion, so it can be quite a lengthy process to get a diagnosis. As you can imagine, my family and I were scared of what our future looked like. The first call I got was from the ALS Association. They reassured me that they would be here for me every step of the way, and they weren't kidding. I immediately knew I had a new family when I met Lisa. Lisa and Laura, they have been amazing. It wasn't long before I was unable to speak or eat and alternative methods were implemented. I have been using my cell phone to communicate for over a year now. I also have a feeding tube that provides me with nutrition and hydration. This is my new norm. Recently I started experiencing lots of fatigue when I walk or travel to different venues. Upon the suggestion of my doctor, the ALS Association equipped me with a new new power chair. Meet Tilly. The work they do is helping not only us patients, but it is bringing awareness and funding for an incurable disease. It is important that events like the Walk to Defeat ALS, Lou Gehrig Day with the Mud Hens and the Ice Bucket Challenge continue to raise funds to make ALS a livable disease. Prior to ALS, I was a successful realtor and hairstylist. I am still working today but not in the capacity I was two years ago. My husband and I have four amazing sons and eight beautiful grandchildren. It is my goal to find a cure and be here to watch each of those grandchildren go to collage and get married. And together we all will find a cure to end this horrible disease so nobody ever has to hear those words. You have ALS. Wow, so quite a journey in just a couple of years. And you know, when we talk about ALS, as you said, no cure. And this is, it's, it has to do with your brain and, and your muscles just not communicating, right? So, mm -hmm. um, and that's why Roseanne is not able to speak and, but there's technology available now and, and you've got a wheelchair to get around with now and that's thanks to some of this fundraising, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, we're doing it on Sunday with this, with this walk and she mentioned the Ice Bucket Challenge too, which it's ten, that was 10 years ago. Yeah, so it was yeah. 10 years ago and um, it had such a huge impact. I feel like um, that Ice Bucket Challenge gave people hope mm -hmm. and everybody wanted to join in. I joined in on it, you know, 10 years ago because we felt like we were part of um, that road to a cure. So this Sunday, we are actually gonna commemorate the 10 um, year anniversary with the Toledo Walleye. Mm -hmm. They're gonna come out and we are gonna do a dump to donate um, after the walk and um, throw lots of ice water on them and just have a great time with them. Wow, so, uh, and you lost a parent as well. Yes, correct? I to, did. To ALS. So, I did. Um, you know, what does it mean for you to come out every year and, and help support this? Um, you know, it's, it's, it means so much. Getting, like as Roseanne said, getting that diagnosis mm. is just, it's so devastating mm. for not only the person who's diagnosed, but also family members, caregivers, 
Um, and so for me to be a part of the association and kind of come in and support them and be that guiding light um, just throughout the whole journey process, just to let them know they're not alone mm -hmm. and um, that we're here for them, it means, it means so, so much. But um, not only that, you know, this walk, uh, we do a lot of fundraising mm -hmm. for it, which we need. Mm -hmm. um, we need more research. We need yeah. to find out um, what's causing this disease, mm -hmm. how to prevent it how it progresses and um, we need to find that cure. Right, right, and you could be part of helping to find that by coming out on Sunday, raising some money as well. Uh, when and where and how um, can people make donations and get involved? Sunday, yeah? So it's gonna be Sunday at Glass City Metro Park. Mm -hmm. Check-in is 11.30. Um, you can register online also at als.org backslash walk Toledo. Okay. Um, donations can be made online. You can come that day and make a donation. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we'd love to have you. Very good. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day too. Yes. Ladies, thank you so much for coming thank today. You. We appreciate it. And congratulations over $300,000. Thank it's you. just amazing. Thank you for being here. We appreciate it.